Hi there, and welcome to 10.6 Consulting. Today we're going to look at adding columns to the Enterprise Project Structure in Primavera P6 EPPM. To do that, we go to the Customize View feature. In Customize View, over on the far left, we click on the gear icon by default view. Left click on it and say copy, and then I left click again, and this time I say paste. And this creates a new view, which I'm going to name standard EPS view, and I'm going to hit save. So I have in the center a list of the available columns that I can select to view on the EPS. And these are organized by categories, dates, general, number of activities, summary, units. And then also on the far right, I've got the currently selected columns. Now, I don't need planned total cost or down to responsible manager. So I hold the shift key, select responsible manager, and in the center arrow, I select the left remove column from selected columns. So that removes them. Now, I want to add actual start, and that is in the dates category. So I select dates, and then actual start, and then I select the center arrow, move it to the right, and that adds actual start. I've already got date to date, and now I want must finish by, and again the center arrow moves it to the right. And then I have must finish by. Next category is the units. It's all the way at the bottom. Now a simpler way to find the columns that I'm looking for is just to type it in the search field. So I type in planned labour units and I select it. Now I could use the centre arrow to move it over, but if I just double click on it, it automatically moves it over. So I'm just going to double click on it and it's moved it over. That's planned labour units. Then I have actual labour units. Select it, double click, moves it over. There it is. And then remaining labour units. Select it, double click, moves it over. Now also, it's important to note that with these up and down arrows, I can choose the order in which remaining labour units appears on the activities table. If I move it to the top of the list, it's going to appear on the far left, and if I move it to the bottom, it's going to appear on the far right. Now I want to add some cost columns to my EPS view. So I do a search on planned labour cost, Select it, double click, and then actual labour cost. Select it, double click, moves it over, and then remaining labour cost. Select it, double click, brings it over. And then finally, I want to do a search on units percent complete. Select it and bring it over. And there you have it. And save. Now at this point, if I hit apply, it will make the standard EPS view the active view and exit the dialog. Or I could just go over to the gear and select set active. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now to view the entire EPS, I select the grid view to get rid of the Gantt chart, and there you have it. If you'd like to learn more about Primavera P6, then 10.6 offers some great online training courses. These courses are written by industry experts and offer you all the skills you need to get up and running as a P6 scheduler. For more information, visit our website at 106.com for full details on how to get started.